Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Apologies for the delay. Decided not to have electricity. Ran out of yellow Pikmin to power my place. So here we are. A little bit later than usual, but we're back at it. Last time we went to the Glutton's Kitchen. Cleaned it out. Had a little bit of a snack. Fought some bread bugs, but here we are. Back to the Awakening Wood to make our final friendship. If you like being friends, I'll be your friend. And uh, a good way to be my friend, of course, is to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Get those notifications if you like, it's good for you. So we're actually gonna make a little bit of uh, haste today. We're gonna grab some purples just to speed up the process of what I'm trying to do. One of the things that you're gonna have to do is you're going to need yellows and you're gonna need anything that you want that is good at killing, so. You can have your yellows go in this area too. Grab some of the grubs. I didn't do a great job with my yellows last time when I was in the glutton's kitchen. So I kind of goofed on that one. And then we'll also grab some of our reds. We're gonna be doing a bit of a split up today, as you do. First things first, we're going to have our reds be so kind as to unearth the moldy ball sack here in the middle of the ground. That purple can hang out there too. And then we're gonna use our purples in a larger quantity. Why? Well, we need to do a little bit of uh, spring cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and take out our foes to clear the way. That's one. Another one's right here. Just wait a second, there it is. If you remember this guy, the dandelion jerk. The purple stun ability is usually enough to basically take it out pretty easily. We're actually going to be heading back this way, if you remember. Or no, we're not. We're going to be heading back the other way that's the other way back. So you can ignore the enemy corpses if you want, up to you. We'll go ahead and take out one more here. As we're going to soon find out, this game is not a huge fan of our new friends. It is not very accepting. Not a very inclusive game, unfortunately. So there may be some frame rate hiccups in this episode. I apologize in advance if that's the case, but there we go. Purples are very good for clearing the way. Purples clearing the way. All right, so now we have our reds. They can hang out because the berries aren't ready yet. Just kidding, here they are. All right, so get your reds, get your berries, have them essentially go and clear that up. You need both of your captains for this next spot though. And all your yellows. So you can use a few yellows here to go ahead and carry that back. That's our one of two overground treasures today. And because we aren't able to cross any spot with water yet, we are going to have to do this the puzzle way. We're gonna throw all of our yellows up on the ledge. We're gonna get new way and um, have him bring everything back. So yeah, you can accomplish a lot in this day. This is one of those above ground days where it doesn't hurt just to kind of, I don't know why I didn't recognize that final yellow. <laughs> this is one of those above ground days where it's good to just kind of um, have your, your Pikmin split up and do multiple tasks and sometimes be lazy and not accomplish anything apparently. But here we go, today's first treasure. This, my friends, is very good if you got the old Shaft Lips, Carmex, the Healing Cask. It's a uh, Chapstick, I think, or Lip Balm, whatever you want to call it. I think Chapstick is another one of those name brand kind of things. All right, so we can quickly have Louie take our remaining Pikmin back to the ship. Reason being is we don't actually need our purples for the remaining part of the day, and we don't want to risk losing any of them. Apparently, some of them are still boot in the boot. That is fine. We will come back for them later. We'll put some of the reds back. You just want to make sure that you leave enough space on the field for our new friends, which I'm sure you've already figured out who they are. If you haven't, then I don't know what to tell you. But if we hurry, 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 we can make some good progress. So the reason why you need two captains is because one of your captains is actually going to go across the moat gather up your yellows that are hanging out and help us to free our new friends. Technically, they're not really trapped. 
although the blue onion they can't get past that yellow gate so i guess in a way they are but here they are uh, as genocidal as ever perfect so blue pikmin very excited to kill everything they possibly can but yes no time for lollygagging back to work of course we're gonna grab our yellows up on the ledge and we are going to kill this guy hopefully as fast as possible so he does not absorb any of our yellows now what you're going to want to do though actually is leave the corpse behind it's actually beneficial to have additional things to propagate your blues that the best way to do it is just to actually leave stuff with it so you might as well i don't think there's anything i can take back that would make sense here so we'll just have all of our head back the way to the onion and actually, we do have berries here, which it's always good to have your Pikmin kind of just continue to do that behind the scenes a little bit. We can put more of them back. In this case, we'll just put the purples back. They have done their murderous deed for the day. Wonderfully done. Thank you for killing. All right. And then we will have this crew go up this shaft and get the... Uh, the balls, perfect. Okay, so we're in good shape here. We'll see how the yellows are doing with the gates. Not gonna focus on that too much. The game, for some reason, really gets upset when you're just hanging out by gates that it's taken down too often. It gets very grumpy and the frame rate poos itself, so I'm just gonna hang out here while we are collecting berries. This is gonna be a very good part of the episode, I promise. So once our Pikmin can hopefully Take those off. They will also be smart enough to get the berries themselves. No, they will not. I don't know how many you need before like the hive mind mentality takes over and they're like, okay, this is what we're doing. But there you go. So you don't actually need your other captain to do much more than that. Once that gate comes down, we'll be in great shape. Having the option to have your Pikmin go and gather you some berries is very useful. Unlike Pikmin 3 though, your Pikmin won't go back to the original source they will stay in whatever area it was that got them the thing in the first place so that's the sound of success you can actually take our yellows here and they can hang out for a moment hang out for a moment we will be introduced reintroduced to the blues here in a second there we go there are the final of the five colors of pikmin in this game that we will be hanging out with so far the blue pikmin there you go so they have gills in their cheeks obviously blue means water and uh yeah they will be your uh, they will be your boys so first things first go ahead and have them take down this five flower that's a good way to get a good batch of them it's kind of annoying that it starts out like this am i missing one? Oh, he's with me i was like where on earth is that final pikmin so we do have one more above ground treasure that we can do. So what I'd like to do, hopefully, is if we can tackle this today, is go ahead and have the Pikmin, as they propagate, get your pellets, get those going, your blue Pikmin, in the same way that you did it with your yellows, in the same way that you did with your reds. Um, have them carry all the pellets that they possibly can. Make sure you're plucking them as quickly as you can. They're these little tadpole jerks that are like, in the area with us. I don't know if they're actually dangerous or not. I couldn't tell you. But what you can do, because... Oh, we don't want a red in there. Get, oh, that's a yellow. Get out of there, sir. All right, so get your blues. Have them carry this instead. You only need eight. So you can use whatever ones you got left to continue to propagate. Very smart of me. And then if you have enough blue Pikmin, once you have collected the treasure and propagated a few... Probably in the 30 to 40 range if you're lucky. I don't know if we'll actually have enough time slash fodder. Is somebody drowning? Oh, pfft. it's the yellow that I said. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> I specifically said not to do that. But yeah, you can use your uh, your blue horde here to take out these tadpoles. They're kind of little jerks, and they're pretty fast too. So, I mean, you can attempt to try to kill them like I did and fail miserably. So it's just not worth it. But yeah, now that you have Pikmin that can actually traverse water, you can open up a lot of the maps, which is very good. This should take 10? Is that 10? That's 10. Okay, very good. So now that we've done that, 
we can... Your Pikmin will still keep trying to kill the tadpoles for whatever reason. They are absolutely murderous maniacs. They are not feeling very blue. They're feeling very red. They want... There's blood in the water and they can sense it. Okay. So, now what you can do is because you hopefully left some of the other corpses around, you can have them carry all of these back. Very good. I think we actually need five, so I want one of you to come with me. Just one. Okay, very good. This is just a quick, easy way to um, propagate your Pikmin. Is this... Oh, this is ten. Can't carry that, but we can carry this. So yeah, leaving some corpses behind is good. It gives your other Pikmin a chance to... Uh, to grow and to foster new relationships or whatever. These guys are going to take the treasure bag, which is great. And then everybody else is going to be content just to hang out. So hopefully, if these guys can go a little bit quicker, I don't think... <laughs> we have the, the handful of blue Pikmin that are just here, just absolutely trying to kill everything they possibly can. It's not really the easiest to kill those tadpoles, so I would recommend giving them alternative forms of sustenance. In this case, one of these uh, long-snouted burgle turtlers, whatever they're called. Pop out a few more. These actually give you a ton of Pikmin, so... Once these guys have grown, what we will do is open up the remainder of the map that's actually really close to the onion. So... Or not the onion, the ship. So, we should be good. That's a good amount of blue Pikmin who have delivered us the second treasure of the day. Second and last. Turn this around. This is the decorative goo. And boy, do we love goo on this channel. Okay. So that's pretty good. We don't actually need to do anything else with the remainder of the blue Pikmin. We will, well, I lied. We'll let these guys carry one last corpse back. We'll come back for them, though. In the meantime, what we actually need to do hopefully with the time that we have left, is we're going to want to open up the final, there's a little gate. A little gate by the um, the entrance to this area, which basically opens up the entire rest of the way. So let's go ahead and grab all of our primary colored friends, split all of them up, and grab only the blues. Be careful with this, because once again, we are going to be traversing water. So if you open this gate up, it's a nice little shortcut to the um, to the final spot. And what's good, if you attack this area in particular, it will, it's essentially like a little bit of a plug. People like to plug their channel. Um, it's a little bit of a plug and that will drain that area. We gotta drain the swamp, as everybody likes to do nowadays. So we're doing good. We went from no spicy sprays. We have three spicy sprays. We have two treasures that we didn't have before. We have a ton of blue Pikmin, as you can see. Hopefully we will be able to stop it. We will gather the Pikmin that we have left here. And then... It should be everybody. That's 20. Is that everybody? Great. All right, so no more murder, guys. We're going to head back to the gate and try to help out as fast as we can. We should have time to just make it, hopefully tear that gate down. And by the time we're ready, what this will do is afford us a lot of extra exploration. It opens it up a ton. And also, you know, in the future, you'll be able to utilize the... Um, the blue onion in the actual landing zone. So there you go. All right, so that extra help should tear that wall down just in time, as Louie looks on very confused. How did I get here? Where am I? All right, so the clock is about to start. We're gonna go ahead and... I have way more than four yellows, as the game is about to tell us for the first time, apparently. I've never seen this. I don't know why it didn't say it. I guess I always just rush to sunset, but yeah, if you uh, leave your Pikmin uncalled, then the game will uh, murder them, so you don't want that. We can go ahead and deposit our yellows. We grew up a few more of them today, which is very nice. Our blues should be just about done. 
with the remainder of their task here. I don't know. Oh, come on. There's like a bunch of you. I don't think we have any left on the map that I know of. Nope. Everybody should be accounted for. If not, we'll find out at the final whistle. This is what I'm trying to accomplish. There you go. All right, boys. Okay. Now they can attack this, uh, this too. So this will drain this. Oh yeah. Doesn't it feel good to get sucked right down the, the earth butthole? There it is. It's gone. So now you can, you can use all your Pikmin to come this way. And this direction, I don't know. Maybe there's a cavern over here. Oh, there's more bitter spray. And if you're really fast, you could probably get this. I don't even think blues can reach it. Oh, they can. Yeah. You can pull it down a little bit. Not worth it, but if I was smart, I would have done that. I don't want to lose my Pikmin, though, so... Instead, we'll just call that a day. Pretty successful. There's another yellow gate up there. Hiding a cavern. So, yeah, all in all, pretty successful. I <laughs> we're being just absolutely swamped by blue Pikmin. That's all we got. All right. A successful day, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Not the longest of episodes, but... That'll obviously change. If we're doing overworld stuff, each day is about 15 to 20 minutes long in game time. So you're not going to have as much, but that's fine. Every so often we'll have these shorter episodes, which are fine. So let's find out what we gathered today. Just two. The decorative goo and the healing cask. So we're very close to gathering almost all of the overworld treasures that are... We only got two more yellows? Uh, anyway, we've got 47 blues, which is great. That's actually more than I was expecting to get. And we have mail. A little trickle over in the left. Hello, I'm still on, still on the lamb from debt collectors. For the time being, I've decided to live under the bridge. But if they catch me, I don't know what they'll do to me. That's right. We're not going to save because who needs to? And we'll just continue. Okay. A very successful day seven. Next time we'll do day eight. We'll probably do a little bit more exploration in the Awakening Wood and take on one of the caverns that's in that area. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Pikmin 2. Thanks for bearing with me with the delay. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.